Good evening. It's Wednesday, September 1st, 2010, and this is episode three of Marga's Hump Day News. Thank you for coming back. Those of you who've seen uh, both episodes before. Oh, let's start with this story. This is so cute. Okay, these are sea lion pups, and they were from uh, actual San Francisco's Pure 39, I like to call it Queer 39, or Queer 69 when I'm really feeling feisty. Anyways, um, these sea lion pups were abandoned by their mother, and they've been uh, just adopted by a, a zoo in Brookfield, Illinois, the Brookfield Zoo. I hope that that is a good zoo, because if it's not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get those sea lion pups out of there. I'm going to yelp it. I, wonder, I don't know if the zoo's been yelped. So they're so cute. And look at them. They're kissing. They're like, they're like gay. They're like... They're going to make all the other animals gay. Yay! Woman dies in chimney. A Bakersfield doctor involved in an on-again, off-again relationship apparently tried to force her way into her boyfriend's home by sliding down the chimney, police said Tuesday. Her decomposed body was found there three days later by a house sitter. Ladies, you may think he loves you, but if he does not give you the key to his house... Do not go to extreme measures like shoving your fat ass down the chimney. We should measure the chimney first. It is really rude to slide down somebody's chimney without presents. And also go down in December when people are more in the mood to have unexpected guests in their chimney. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Jacqueline Katarik, 49, that you are dead in a chimney. I'm sorry that they had to scrape you out with, I guess, all the chimney utensils, the poker and all that to get you out of the chimney. But you, you did wrong, okay? If he tells you he doesn't love you, believe it. When they tell you there's no Santa Claus, believe it. Paris Hilton was, uh, was arrested last week. She was in her Escalade. Police smelled weed. They did some further investigating and found cocaine in Paris Hilton's purse. When they asked her about it, she said, oh, oh wow, that's not my purse. Oh, yeah, wow, I borrowed that. Oh, yeah, that is my ID. Oh, yeah, that, that's my money. Those are my credit cards. Yeah, yeah it's just the purse. I, I borrowed the purse. Yeah, so um, never, never borrow. Never borrow a cocaine purse. Oh, Glenn Beck, wow. How great. How great. We want to commemorate Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, and we really didn't have any way to just step on and stomp on that memory. Until you, Glenn Beck. Here are, uh, well, here is one uh, Darth Vader, uh, a fake Darth Vader, who is protesting in uh, Los Angeles for the right of people to don uh, movie costumes and panhandle. But uh, the cops uh, busted all these guys and said they couldn't uh, panhandle because they're aggressive. Just the fact that you dressed yourself up as Darth Vader is going to intimidate people panhandler, all right? So if, if you don't want to scare people off, don't put on the Darth Vader costume. There's Superman. That's a good costume to panhandle in. Everybody's going to give Superman a little spare change. The Hulk was also protesting. The Hulk, you ridiculous Hulk. If I saw you panhandling, I would cross the street. That's not just aggressive panhandling. That's passive aggressive panhandling, okay? People in L.A. are crazy. I didn't know this. Barbara Boxer is a blonde. I think um, I think that's kind of cool. But her opponent, Cara Fioroni, Fioroni, Riceroni, is um, saying that Bar Boxer's hairstyle was so yesterday. Fioroni, let's talk about issues, okay? Here's the other thing. is um, Fioroni uh, was a CEO of Hewlett Packard, and um, she, um, I, I think this is fact, she was let go by Hewlett Packard and offered a big severance package after she laid off 30,000 people. That's going to be our senator in a, that, that's, that's who uh, is concerned about Barbara Boxer's hairstyle. Oh, I can't even do ah, whoo, lighting issues, yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for Hump Day News this week. Actually, that's all the light we have for Hump Day News this week. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next Hump Day. All right? Cool. That's enough.